I tend, when I work on anything, to draw on a wide range of reference material. And it, sometimes it would appear fairly unlikely. So if you come into the rehearsal room for the Christmas show, and I don't want to unnerve anybody, uh, the mouse and his child, you would find a, an eclectic range of research material, one of which is Martin Scorsese's Goodfellas, a brutal, violent film about the Mafia. There's something about some of the moments, and indeed a particular character, the level of psychotic behaviour that exists in that, which is absolutely in Manny Rat, our villain, obviously in a different way, but what's quite good for me and for the actor playing Manny is to go, well, let's look at that. We're not going to do that, but let's go to something that's very adult, very brutal. Sometimes that can really inform something that you then do in what is ostensibly a family show, but uh, I make no apology for that. You were there. Now we're talking. You know, I was talking also about um, uh, Manny Rat. When he f sees these two wind up, Manny being our villain, he, for me, he sees beauty. Look at that! In that moment when he encounters them, he sees beauty. And in that moment, he is obsessed by these two ones and has to be. You have to believe he's obsessed. So when he loses them, he will do anything to get them back. And if he can't have them, he will destroy them. It's that level of obsession. And I said, in a sense, it's not hugely dissimilar from Death in Venice, Thomas Mann, where this man sees this young boy and, and he's captivated by the notion of beauty. So that's what I mean about sometimes, it's, even though you're ostensibly doing a children's story or a family story, it's useful because to go elsewhere because sometimes the the level of commitment or the, the stakes in some other stories can really apply to what we're trying to do. What happens when the nursery room door is shut is a very old idea. What happens when toys come to life? What do they talk about? What, do they, what life do they have? It taps into somewhere in our subconscious, you know, the nutcracker, and it goes way back, this notion of what happens when we're not there.